Hey, sixth grade. Today's lesson is going to be about using multiple ratio representations to solve problems. And we will have two learning goals that go along with this lesson. So make sure you have your math binder and a pencil handy and you are ready to take notes. So here we go with our first learning goal of the day. Today, I will read and interpret ratios from graphs, double number lines, and tables. There you go. There is your first learning goal for today. Today, I will read and interpret ratios from graphs, double number lines, and tables. We will be using a wide variety of models in today's lesson. All right, and learning goal number two. Today I will determine equivalent ratios using multiple representations. Today I will determine equivalent ratios using multiple representations. Make sure you pause so that you can get this information in your notes. To get started, we're going to review how to scale up and scale down on tables, double number lines, and graphs. So we're going to start with a ratio of six red markers, or marbles, I'm sorry, six red marbles to nine blue marbles. Six red to nine blue, just like that. So here's our fractional form, which is what you guys have been seeing a lot. Um, we have six red to nine blue in fractional form. All right. Now to scale this down, we have to remember that when we scale down, we divide. So what number can go into both six and nine? If you say three, you are correct. So we could scale down six divided by three equals two and nine divided by three is three. So you could also have two red marbles and three blue marbles. Um, if we want to scale down, or I'm sorry, not scale down, we just scaled down. All right, and now we're gonna scale up. But when we scale up sixth grade, we have to make sure that we are scaling up from our original ratio, no matter what we're doing, if we're scaling up or down. We always want to start with the original ratio. So, let's see, we already know we have two red to three blue because we scaled down. We started with six red and nine blue marbles. Now we're going to scale up so we get to multiply. Um, I think I'd like to multiply by two. So six red marbles times two, nine blue marbles by two. And what does that get us? Six times two is 12. Nine times two is 18. So we have 12 red marbles and 18 blue marbles. And all three of these ratios are equivalent to one another. Okay, another way that we can show ratios is by using a table. And so we're going to still use the same ratios before, six red marbles to nine blue marbles. And we're going to start by scaling up first. We're going to multiply by two. We'll even mark the same thing down here. So six, whoa, six times two is still 12. Nine times two is still going to wind up being 18. But now if we want to scale down, we have to come back over here to the original ratio. Whee! And we're going to divide by three. We're going to do the same thing down here with the denominator number. We're going to divide by three. So, like we discussed already, 6 divided by 3 equals 2, and 9, wherever it is, wherever my cursor is, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. So, our ratios of 6 red marbles to 9 blue marbles, or 12 red to 18 blue, or 2 red to 3 blue, all of those are equivalent ratios. 
Next up, our next model is our good old trusty double number line. We've been doing quite a bit with these double number lines. So I'm going to start here in the middle-ish. There's my six red marbles. And down here directly below my six red will be my nine blue. Because every time I have six marbles, red marbles, I will have nine blue marbles. And then to scale down, here we go, there's two red and down below it will mark three blue marbles. And then to show the 12 to 18, we're not going to move over quite as far. We're go 12 down to 18. And there's an example of using a double number line to show all the same information we've just been looking at. Okay, and now we're going to take a look at our graph. In sixth grade I realize that we have not done a whole lot with graphs just yet, but we're going to start working on that and we can show the same information here. So if you have, let's say, here we go, one, two, let's try labeling these more like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. I'm going to have to squeak it out there a bit. Anywho, and then for the blue marbles, we're going to try to see if we can squeeze in the same. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, right there. All right, so if we have 2, 4, 6 red marbles to every 9 blue marbles, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so somewhere right here in the middle, there's our first ratio of the 6 to 9. Then we have 12 to 18. Well, 6, 8, 10, 12, all the way up here. And then for our 2 to 3, well, there's 2, whoops, and 3 blue kind of put us about in here. And so there we're showing the same information, the same equivalent ratios using a graph. Okay, we're going to take a look at this fantastic graph here that shows the number, it represents the number of gallons of water used every time a toilet is flushed. So, as if we have not gotten enough of bran muffins, we've now moved on to flushing toilets. So, here's the graph that we have in our book on page 364. Question A, over here off to the side, is telling us to write each point on the graph as the ratio of gallons of water used to number of flushes. So, they've already gotten started. I mean, one, two, three gallons of water to every one flush. So if you flush twice, you're going to use six gallons of water. If you flush three times, you're going to use nine gallons of water. And on that fourth flush, you are at 12 gallons of water. Um, and I'm going to kind of backtrack a little bit here. Uh, just like we talked about earlier with some of our important math terms, the y-axis is labeled, there's x, and then uh, the x-axis in this one on this one is labeled as flushes, and the y-axis is labeled as water, and we're keeping track of the measurement in gallons. Um, the intervals on the y-axis are being marked in five block intervals. And down for the flushes, the flushes are also being marked in five flush intervals. So, let's see here. So according to your graph, three gallons is equal to one flush. Whoops, that's a U. There we go. Um, six gallons is equal to two flushes. Nine gallons is equal to three flushes. Someone has been very busy in there. And 12 gallons, 
and this is just what we were shown on the graph, 12 gallons is equal to 4 flushes. All right, question B asks us what we notice about each ratio. I want you to pause the video for just a moment and think, what is our graph showing us about each, each ratio? Click pause so you can think about it for a second. And each ratio is equivalent to three gallons of water used every single time you flush. So it's a three to one ratio. All right, what I want you to do is go on ahead and answer questions C, D, and E on your own, and then bring your work with you to class tomorrow. I need to see your notes. I need to see your work on this page 364, and you're going to need all of this to share with your partner in class. So have a fantastic evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow.